Our next graduate is Ruth Berger. Ruth has been in Wisdom Builders in her elementary years, and they kind of took a break for a little bit, and they came back during their high school years. And so Ruth has been very involved in our drama productions. She also taught a couple of Bible classes for us for the uh, K-first and second and third graders. Um, I've enjoyed her creativity, her desire to teach young people on good news clubs, her love for Jesus, her sweet and joyful spirit, and her commitment to excellence. Ruth will be attending Brown Mackey College of Indianapolis, will be working towards an associate's degree to become an occupational therapy assistant. Her favorite verse, Ephesians 1, 6b, he has made us accepted in the beloved. Well, unlike Brett, um, I, well actually, not unlike, like Brett, I had a list that went on and on, and then I left it somewhere. But I had another one that I printed out and I have on my graduation table. So if you'd like to read the list of many people who I would like to thank, and it is an 11 page list. Um, you may go out and read it on my graduation table. But instead, I really wanted to share with you something that I learned through high school. Who am I and what am I living for? These questions knocked at my heart's door. Unsatisfied with my progress in life, I knew there must be something more. Reaching out to the world, I took hold of a lie that promised to make me fulfilled. But the pleasure flew away, and it left me enslaved to the guilt. Though I am faithless, God is faithful. He restores and He redeems. Through His blood there flows forgiveness that will wash the foulest clean. He works all for good, yes, even suffering. Who I am is not defined by the passing things in life, not my conduct, looks, or fame. My identity is in Christ's name. I am accepted in the beloved. God has bought me as his own every day. 